full sin this time what's going on skunk nation we're back and today we have a review of the brand new 2023 shimano stratic fm right here next to it i have last year's 3000 and 4000 so we're going to compare it to those two because i've used these this is a brand new unboxing so we're going to go through this first let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside Got the handle that it comes with. So I have the other handle here from the other 3000 just to do a little comparison. And uh, yeah, can't really tell much difference, but there is a big difference between the 3000 and the 4000 T handle, as you can see there. Okay, so also in the box, we have the reel. And that is looking good. You can tell they've updated a couple things um, but for the most part, it looks almost identical, as you can see, to the last year's edition. Feels good. I can't tell any noticeable difference right off the bat. So I've got the new Gomexis handle on here with the cork handle. This will be my differentiating factor because I will be testing this um, against the old 3000 just to see... You know if i can feel any difference or anything and if it'll be worth the money uh to get this if you can get a good deal i've had this reel for about six months now and i've had no problems with it i do mostly saltwater fishing but i have used it for freshwater as well so for comparison let's compare the 4000 to the 3000 and you can see how much bigger the 4000 is to the 3000 so this is a good little view of the difference. I would also like to mention that there is no difference in the specs between the two different 3000s, this being the FL and this being the new FM. They're both a 6.4 to one gear ratio. They both have a max drag of 20 pounds. They both weigh 7.9 ounces. They both have six plus one ball bearings and they both retrieve 37 inches of line per turn. Additionally, one of the new features on the 3000 in the, is this little fin. So let's see how this click sounds. So this has the new and improved Duracross drag washer inside of it, which is supposed to last 10 times longer than the drag washer inside of the FL. I'll have to test that. Um, and see but shimano did thousands and thousands of pulls on this i'll probably never notice as a regular weekend angler um, the difference between these two drag systems again if i got the fl on sale then i would go ahead and buy it and the reason that i have the 3000 and the 4000 is on tackle direct i was able to pick up the 4000 for 160 bucks these usually go for about 210 to 230 dollars 4000 goes up to 24 pounds of drag so you get an additional four pounds and it has 40 inches of retrieve also the 6-1 bearings it does weigh a little bit more there is a noticeable difference um, in the weight if i was casting lures all day i would be able to tell I currently have 30 pound braid on this one and 10 pound braid on this one. On the new Stratic FM, I will also be putting 10 pound braid. That way I can give these a fair comparison, test the drag out, 
and uh, yeah, see see if there's any noticeable difference, which I do not believe there will be at all while fishing. All right, if you guys are liking the content, liking the review, go ahead and hit that sub and like button helps me out. This is not a sponsored review by anybody. All of this came out of my pocket. We're gonna get down to my first impressions of what I think about the new FM and if I think it's worth the money. Comparing these two reels, I would not go out and buy a brand new Shimano Stratic FM if I already have an FL. The only reason I pre-order this is so that I could provide you guys some feedback. I want to get this thing out on the water. So tune in next week when I'm going to put this on the rod that I've had my original 3000 on. And I'm going to go test this on the water and see if there's any difference or any noticeable difference that I'm able to recognize, right? Also, you may be wondering why I have the Miravel out here. Um, I got this from Bass Pro and I just personally really have not enjoyed this reel. So I just wanted to put this up here. I'm not a fanboy of all Shimano's. Follow me if you guys want to see me take this one out next weekend. We're going to go out and uh, hopefully catch some fish with it and test. You know, do I feel any difference with the Xfinity drive? Does it feel more stable while I'm reeling it in? Is there any difference with the Duracross drag washer? You know, do, does it feel like it's slipping? Does it feel like it's not slipping? It feels exactly the same as the last edition of Astratic. So I don't recommend anybody run out to the store right now and buy one.